What's going on guys, welcome back to my personal channel, welcome back to another transfer daily video for you guys today. Sorry for the late upload, I was busy filming with Sophie and the others of Blues Fantasy, but you're going to see some of the content coming out in the next couple days. Decent content, I think you guys will like that, so... You guys have probably already liked and subscribed to Blues Fans TV, but if you haven't done so, press that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video as well, and press the bell notification button as well to be the first guy to know whenever I release any new content on this channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about Chelsea trying to free up the wage bill and a couple of squad players that look to be going out on loan to try and get more game time at other clubs. We're going to be talking about Conor Gallagher, we're going to be talking about a recent bid in for Mishi Batshuayi, and we're also going to be talking about Fakaya Tomori and a move to another Premier League club so we'll go straight into the video now we're going to start with Mishi Batshuayi and we knew that Chelsea were looking to clear some of the wage bills so they could continue their transfer activity and try and get the goalkeeper and the defensive midfielder that they're looking for we know that the players have been identified as Declan Rice and Edouard Mendy we know that talks are ongoing for Mendy but Chelsea are still looking to get rid of other players as well and Mishi Batshuayi was one of the biggest names linked to be leaving the club because He's really slipped down the pecking order this season. He hasn't really impressed at his time at Chelsea. He's continuously failed to impress in my opinion. He's had a couple great moments for the club, but he's never really shown any form of consistency. Now with Timo Werner's arrival, he's slipped down to a fourth choice striker. And it doesn't look like he's going to be getting any game time for us this season regardless anyway. And Frank Lampard, I think, is now the first manager that said they've struggled to deal with him tactically and they've, he, he's struggled to understand their tactics. On the pitch, his movement doesn't look great outside the box. He only looks great with his final touch. And he struggled, so it makes sense to get rid of him. The only reason why we're not trying to transfer him out is because of the 90k wages that he has, which is also another reason why we're trying to get him off the transfer bill. As well as the fact that other clubs are struggling to sell players and they're struggling to be able to reach a transfer valuation for most players due to the drop of the economy in the market. So... Crystal Palace and all other clubs that were interested in him were put off by the transfer fee, put off by the wages as well. So we've had to sell for a loan deal and Crystal Palace have now entered advanced talks with Chelsea over Mishi Batshuayi joining them on a one-year deal. Chelsea have also extended Mishi Batshuayi's contract by one more year as well, so he doesn't leave on a free agent at the end of the season. Another reason why clubs weren't interested in him was because he was initially got one year left on his contract and clubs felt that he could hold out and get him on a free for next season. And with the drop in the economy, every club's trying to be as cheap and as frugal as possible. So it did make sense, but that's also why we've kept him on a one-year extension before anyone panics or anything it's just so we can continue to sell him off to another club after next season and Crystal Palace has struggled for goals if I remember correctly they only scored 31 goals in 38 games last season with their top scorer Jordan Ayew only scoring nine goals in the league that season so they've been struggling for goals still scored twice against us at Sellers Park but that's just a defensive organization that we know is going to be changed up for next season and Mishi Batshuayi knows Crystal Palace. We sent him on loan there in the 18-19 season and he, had, and he had a decent spell there. He had seven goals in 13 games, if I, re if I remember correctly. And Roy Hodgson will believe that he can get the best out of him. And for Mishi Batshuayi, it will be good for him to go there as well to try and get some confidence because he's really fallen down the pecking order at Chelsea. If he has any hope of making it at Chelsea or having a career here, he needs to really smash this at Crystal Palace. And he had a decent former spell there. Honestly, I do think it is his level and I hope they come back with a permanent bid as well because I do think we'd sell him for the right right price. We got him for 33 million. Marina's a, ma a magician, but I don't know if she'll sell him for that, but she'll sell him for decent profit or not too bad of a loss. So I am happy with this transfer. It does also have an impact on other transfers as well because we know Conor Gallagher was meant to be going on loan to Crystal Palace as well. But because the Premier League loan rules state that two Premier League, no, a Premier League club can't sell two players on loan to the same Premier League club for another year, that means that Conor Gallagher can't go to Crystal Palace and that deal is out of the window now. But that doesn't mean too much for him. There's other Premier League clubs that were still interested in him. I, I know West Brom are interested in him and now put talks in. I think Leeds are also interested in Conor Gallagher, so there are plenty of options for him so it's not too deep it's not the end of the world I know that they were in advanced talks that's now gone out the window because they're now pushing for Mishi Batshuayi it makes, it, it makes sense from all parties they need goals Mishi Batshuayi will at least give them goals so guys let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below 
Second piece of news, and like we said, Chelsea are trying to get rid of squad players that aren't going to get a lot of game time. And Fikayo Tomori is looking like another player that is going to be going out on loan. And I think between the club and the player, there is an understanding that a loan deal is going to be best for him for his progress. And that's gone a lot stronger since Chelsea has signed Thiago Silva. And that has meant that Tomori has fallen further down the pecking order. There is still belief in him from... A lot of players and a lot of sources within the club, Lampard still believes in him. And no one thinks that this is a loan with a long-term agreement to try and sell him off to somewhere else. Tomori still has a future at this club. It's just he isn't going to get the game time that he needs to develop at Chelsea. I think it's the same situation with Malanga Saar where we signed him, but he does need to go out on loan to develop further. He, Everton aren't the only club that are interested in him, but Everton did have former interest in him. They tried to get him on loan last summer and talks were ongoing before David Luiz forced through to move to Arsenal which put a hole through any of those plans because Chelsea now needed the, the depth in defence. So Everton have now just reignited their former interest in the defender and I think it's a good move for him. There's tough competition, which means that if he doesn't hit the ground running, he will struggle to get game time in the squad. But Michael Keane, Yerry Mina, Mason Holgate, he does need to prove that he's better than those sorts of players if he wants to prove that he has Chelsea quality. Kurt Zuma went there. He had an amazing spell at Everton. I know Everton fans want him back as well, even though I doubt that's going to happen right now. But hopefully the same happens with Fakaya Tomori as well. He does have great potential. He had 17 starts for us last season, but he really struggled for game time towards the turn of the year. He only started three games since we turned into 2020. And... I know injuries haven't really helped his case, but lack of game times also led to him being really, really frustrated with his position at Chelsea. So it makes sense that he goes out on loan because the experience will be good for him. And Everton look to be a club that are seriously pushing for top seven, maybe even top four. It all depends on how the team works out. But they've completely revamped their midfield. They brought in Hammers Rodriguez. They brought in Allen. They're in advanced talks for Abdullah Decorey as well from Watford. And their midfield looks stacked. And if things work out well for them, that's going to be a great side. It's going to be a tough side for us to compete with as well. But it's also showing how strong the competition in the Premier League is. For Kaya Tomori, does need to go on loan. It's what's best for him. I know Everton need him as well because Mason Holgate also suffered an injury in their pre-season match recently. So they do need the depth now in defence. Hopefully, Fakara Tomori can hit the ground running and hopefully he has a decent spell. But guys, this is the end of the video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G. Don't forget to press the bell notification button as well to be the first guy to know whenever, whenever I release any new content on this channel. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if there's anyone else that we should be trying to get rid of as well. Don't forget to check out my previous videos. And let me know your thoughts on Batshuayi to Palace, Conor Gallagher to West Brom or to Leeds or whoever club's interested in him. And let me know your thoughts on Tomori to Everton down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys very, very soon. Up the Chels.